everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia and today I am sharing my homemade lasagna recipe with you guys. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make this super fast and also budget friendly if you need it to be. So let's go over the ingredients. It might look like a lot of ingredients, but honestly, most of it is just staples that we have in our pantry and in our fridge and we can put it together in no time. First, to save time, I'm using jar marinara sauce. I have two jars in here. And uh, if you have homemade, obviously you can use that, but I, I don't mind the store-bought. I have a minced onion and I have some ricotta cheese. Now with the ricotta cheese, if you need to save money, you can substitute it with cottage cheese. And I've done that plenty of times and we enjoy it. I just happen to have ricotta cheese in the fridge. So that's what we're using today. And then for the vegetables, I like to sneak in some vegetables if I can. I have four kids, so if I can get it in their diet in any shape or form, I do it. So today I have some spinach, which I'm going to add in the marinara sauce when we make the meat sauce, and it's going to be delicious. I've added zucchini, diced zucchinis before. You can do mushrooms, whatever your family likes, you can add it in. So we just have a few staples that I'm sure you guys have in your pantry and fridge. I have some pepper some salt, olive oil, minced garlic, Italian seasoning, one egg, and a little bit of sugar. You don't have to add the sugar, but I find that marinara sauce and even pizza sauce for that matter is very acidic and it can give you a little bit of heartburn. So a little pinch of sugar kind of cuts the acidity down, but if you don't have any issues with that, you can just omit it. And then some Parmesan cheese. And I've even used the Parmesan cheese in the little tube that you get, the little shaky cheese. That's fine. Use whatever you have. Again, if you need to cut your budget, go ahead and use that. No problem. Over here, I have two pounds of ground beef. Any ground beef of your choice will do. Whatever you have in your fridge or freezer is the best one. I just happen to have, this is organic, so we're going to use organic today. Now, another trick to saving time because I used to hate making homemade lasagnas because I would have to boil the pasta and then lay it out and it just took forever. I buy these at my local Dollar Tree for $1.25 a box and these are oven ready lasagnas. So you just layer them, you do not have to pre-boil them. The only secret with using these is you wanna make sure you have enough sauce to cover them so that they can cook nicely. And then I also have some mozzarella cheese. So this is all you need, not too much. Oh, I am going to spray my pan with some cooking spray. And this is actually a 13 by nine deep dish uh, pan. So it's gonna make a lot of lasagna and it's gonna be so, so good. So let's go to the stove and put all of this together and show you how we do it. Okay, first thing is first, you wanna preheat your oven at 400 degrees. And I put a little bit of olive oil and I have my onion sauteing. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on these to kind of sweat them out, to just get them a little translucent and a little bit of pepper because salt and pepper go together very nicely. So it's already smelling delicious. I mean, when you saute onions, it's gonna smell delicious in your house. Okay, I'm going to actually cover them and I'm just gonna let them saute till they get a little more translucent for a couple minutes and then we're gonna add the beef. Okay, so these are getting nice and translucent. I just had the lid on for about three minutes and I think at this point, uh, we can go ahead and add the beef. Now, if your beef has a lot of fat in it, you are gonna wanna drain that. So we're just gonna saute everything together and I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more salt and pepper because it's important to season as you cook, to season everything. That way everything has very nice flavor. We like lots of pepper. So this is on a high heat. And depending on your stove, uh, this is an electric stove. If you have a gas stove, you might have to turn the heat down. So just um, be aware of that. So I'll go ahead and keep breaking this down into little pieces and sauteing it. And then I'll show you the next step. 
Okay, so you guys can see this cooked up so nicely. And I am ready to drain this because as you can tell, there's a lot of grease. And I don't want that in my lasagna. So let me just drain this out. And you do not want to drain your grease fat into the sink because it will clog up your pipes over time. So we're just going to put it in a bowl and then I'm going to let it kind of so get hard and then we will toss it in the garbage bag. Look at all that. There is a lot of liquid. Okay. All right. Now we're ready for the next step. Oh, there goes my oven. That means it has already preheated. So at this point, I'm going to add my minced garlic. And we're going to add all this beautiful spinach. Again, you can use any vegetable or you can omit it. If you your family doesn't like it, you don't have to add it. But my family doesn't mind it. And like I said, I don't mind adding as many vegetables as I can. Again, we are going to season as we go. So we're going to put the rest of our pepper and the rest of our salt. And you can add, I, like I said, I'll have a recipe down below, but you can add as much or as little salt and pepper as you like. If you don't want to use fresh garlic, you can always substitute with garlic powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you guys were here. That garlic, when it hit that pan, out of this world. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. I've had my kids come up to me after I put the marinara sauce and it was all cooked through and just kind of scoop out some in a bowl and just eat it with a spoon. So let me get the marinara sauce and I'll add it right in. So let's go ahead and add our two jars. And this is 50 ounces of marinara sauce, store bought. And I am not um, brand loyal whatever is on sale that is what i use at this point you do want to turn your heat down because it's going to bubble you don't want it to get it on you oh yeah and then i have some italian seasoning that i just want to add in there and then my little pinch of sugar to cut the acidity so very simple i'm going to mix everything together Put the lid back on and kind of just let it bubble together for just about five minutes i know some people call this gravy and they let it go for hours i'm not italian and i don't know how to make it authentic but this is what works for me and i'm telling you guys it's so quick and easy you can make this sauce and freeze it and have it ready to go and i do have bags in my freezer and then you're if you're coming home from work or from school or you just have a busy night you just have your cheeses and your no bake, I mean, no boil pasta ready to go. And you have a lasagna on the table in no time. Okay, so my sauce has been boiling for about just five minutes. And it looks really, really delicious. And I'm actually going to give it a taste just to make sure that it tastes, there's enough salt and pepper and... Hopefully I will not burn myself. And then don't forget that the Parmesan cheese is also salty, so we don't want to oversalt it. Mm, it's so good. Perfect. Perfect. And you can't even taste the sugar that's in there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to whisk this little egg together and add it to our ricotta cheese. And we're going to put this lasagna together in no time and that sounds really good because my kids are super hungry and then i am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper in here just for taste just to give the ricotta or again if you want to go the budget friendly way cottage cheese i promise you guys it is absolutely delicious both ways all right so because our oven is already ready to go, we need to assemble this and it takes no time at all. I am gonna spray 
my deep dish pan with nonstick spray. You can use whatever you have. And then the way I start is I'm going to layer some of this delicious sauce on the bottom. And again, if you make a batch, you can make two batches, put one in the freezer. And then when you are really busy, just take the sauce out, or you can even make the whole lasagna and put it in the freezer. You will need to add some cooking time to that if you use it frozen. And we're just going to start layering. Super, super simple, you guys. Your kids can even help out. My kids have helped me out making lasagna plenty of times. i break this a little just to kind of put it in. And then we're going to add actually some more sauce. And again, with these uh, oven ready noodles, the only secret and the only thing to keep in mind is to make sure that your noodles are covered with sauce. That way they don't dry out. So that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. No one wants to get away. All right. And then we're going to do a little bit of ricotta. And then um, I like to actually spread my ricotta out over just like this. So that you got a little bit of cheese in every bite. You guys, this is going to be so bubbly and delicious. Your kids or if you, your family or just you, you're going to just enjoy it. I know not everybody has kids. Okay. And then I'm also going to add a generous amount of mozzarella. Why not? It's delicious. And then for a little bit of saltness, some Parmesan. And again, you can substitute this with substitute it with the shaky cheese from the tube that you can get at any grocery store that's shelf stable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep continuing these layers and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together before we pop it in the oven. Okay, so right now we are going to put the last layer on. Let's get this out of the way. And I brought out a spatula because I want to scoop out every last drop of this sauce. It is so good. You don't want to be wasting anything. Oh, you guys, again, I know I keep saying this, but it just smells so, so incredible in here. And I'm going to be pairing this up with a Caesar salad and some garlic toast. And I'm going to show you guys how I get that ready and how it's very simple. Again, we just want to make it as simple as possible for our busy nights. And I'm going to be using my air fryer to cook up the, the garlic toast. And it makes it super, super easy. And you can pick up garlic toast that's ready to go at even Walmart because I know everybody kind of has a Walmart near them or most people for very inexpensive. You can make your own with old bread that you're not going to use. I've done that plenty of times. Whatever works for you and your family. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Lots of delicious layers. I've used frozen lasagnas in a pinch many a times. Don't get me wrong. It's just, um, they're not as good as homemade lasagnas, obviously. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in the oven. Okay, so now we have our lasagna all put together, which took no time at all. You can see it, it looks absolutely beautiful. We are going to cover it with tin foil. And I'm going to pop it in the oven for 60 minutes at 400 degrees. And I'm going to let it go for 40 minutes with the tin foil on. And then the last 20 minutes, we're going to take this off and just let it kind of bubble up and get all nice and crispy and get the cheese all melted. So let's put this in the oven. And then while this is going, 
I have my dishwasher that's already empty. I'm going to put all the dishes in the dishwasher ready to go. That's another tip. Just have it ready to go. That way you can clean up as you're going. And we're going to get our salad and our garlic bread put together in no time. All right. So my trick to a quick meal to throw together is, like I said, pre-made garlic bread. I'm going to throw this in the air fryer on 400 degrees for about five to six minutes. And then, and these, these items are from Walmart. And then I love the salad because it has the dressing, the seasoning, everything in there. And it's so easy and it's so quick. And my family absolutely loves it. So I'm just going to take it out of the bag, throw it in a bowl, mix it together. And you have a delicious, delicious meal. So let's wait for the lasagna to get ready. I'm going to pop this in the fridge so I can keep it nice and cold. And then we'll get this ready just when we assemble it and put it all together on the table. All right. So my timer just went off. Another 20 minutes has passed. Let's get this lasagna out of the oven. Oh yeah. It is literally bubbling. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish you were here to smell this. It smells so, so good. It is bubbling and the cheese has melted. Everything is all beautiful. Let me see if I can lift it up to show you guys. I don't know if you can see that. So you guys might think, oh, we're just going to go ahead and dig in. No, we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes, let it cool off a little bit, and then we're going to slice it up. And our garlic bread, look how pretty this turned out, how, how, how nice and golden brown. And I had these in for six minutes on 400 in my air fryer, my simple Caesar salad. We're going to plate it up and show you guys what it looks like all plated up. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and I... I sliced it up and I'm getting 12 generous, generous portions out of this big, big lasagna. So I'm going to try to get a piece out so you guys can see just how nice and fantastic this turned out. All right. The first piece is always kind of messy. Oh, it's going to fall apart, but that's okay. Oh, yes. you guys and like a little bit of garlic toast look at that that is going to be some good eating you guys i hope you guys give this recipe a try i hope you make this in your house today it is so easy so versatile you can add whatever vegetables you want you can add whatever cheese you like it's a good way to clean out your fridge and just add whatever you need to in this and make it delicious for your family we are going to dig in because we've been smelling it and we are hungry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will have more cooking videos coming up real soon.